In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new media replacement feature inside the Essential Graphics panel in Premiere Pro. On the right side is the original template that I created in After Effects. On the left is me replacing that footage with clips of me making coffee within Premiere Pro. It's super easy to do once you have a template set up, so let's dive right into it. Here's the split screen animation that I created within After Effects and then exported it as a motion graphic template or .mogurt to use within Premiere Pro. The first step to creating a motion graphic template to export is to bring up the essential graphics window inside After Effects. And right here is the template. They've made it really easy to add footage to utilize the media replacement feature. All I have to do is take a layer, click and drag that into the essential graphics window. So right here is the red.png and I'm going to relabel this to four red, and then I'll move this up to where it needs to go. There's a couple things that I ran into that hopefully can save you time when it comes to making your own motion graphic templates with media replacement in mind. The first being that if you look under the hood of my animation, I'm using shape layers as track mats for these .png files. This whole animation is basically just two lines that are animating on the screen, and all of these shape layers are being used as track mats parented to either line one or line two. Underneath all of those shape layers are the colored PNGs. It'd be cool to minimize the amount of layers that I have to use in this After Effects project if I could just create and drag a shape layer that's 16 by nine and use that as my media replacement. But when you try and add a shape layer to a Mogurt, this is what happens. It gives me a warning saying, one or more layers are not supported by media replacement because they are an incapable type or have continuous restoration or collapse transformation enabled, which is a complete bummer because I could cut down on the use of even having to use these .png files if shape layers could be replaced by media. I completely understand why you can't do it. And I'm no After Effects guru, so I'm sure there's probably a much more efficient way to set up this type of template. But my workaround to create the media files that you would eventually be replacing is to go to Photoshop and export these colored .png files that are the same exact aspect ratio and resolution as 4K UHD. So let me delete all these layers and showcase to you how to export a motion graphics template from After Effects that utilizes media replacement inside Premiere Pro. So the first thing that you want to do is name the template, and you also want to make sure that you're working with the composition that you intend to turn into a template. If you click Solo Supported Properties, this will showcase to you all of the different parameters that you can click and drag into this template. So again, I can't add something like this line, but I could add something like the size or the position or the roundness. But for this example, all I want to add are my .png files that I want to replace. And after I have them in the panel, I make sure that they're in the order that I want them and rename them with the corresponding number in which they appear as well as their color. Since we're finishing up, let me set the poster frame for the composition. So maybe I'll go to this little three tiered frame and hit set poster frame. So now the thumbnail for this template will look like this. There are some additional things that you could do like add comments and add group. And one more thing to be aware of is the composition duration. The template will be as long as whatever the composition is right here. If you wanna change that, you need to go up to composition, composition settings, and then just change the duration of the template right here. But for right now, I think I'm ready to export my motion graphics template. After saving your project, you'll get a pop-up window like this where you can choose the destination where to save the template. I'm gonna go with my local templates folder because that's the default for when you're browsing here inside Premiere Pro, it'll automatically pop up right there. But if you wanted to go to your local drive or any of your libraries, you could do that too. I'm gonna hit okay. And now I've exported my template. Inside Premiere Pro, we wanna make sure that we're looking at our essential graphics window. So window, essential graphics, and I'm gonna to go to browse my templates. And if I scroll down, I should see my split screen temp example. I'm gonna click and drag this in. And now I have my template here inside Premiere Pro. If I wanna edit this, I'm going to click the file. And as you can see, this is the exact same thing that we were looking at inside After Effects. Let me down arrow some of these so you can see what's going on. To replace this footage, all I have to do is click and drag the footage from my project bin and put it over the media that I wanna replace. So this first blue image, I'm going to let go and automatically it will pop up here inside 
the essential graphics window as well as on my program window. Now, the great thing here is that I can quickly reposition this inside the essential graphics window. So I could add 50% and then just move this up like that. You could rotate if you want to, and you can pick a specific start time to that clip. If you need to do more finessing to the media, just double click. And now this is exactly how you would be editing a normal clip inside the timeline in Premiere Pro. You could add effects, change scale, do whatever trimming you need to, and then go back to the original timeline that you're editing in. And again, here's the final product that I came up with. I did post this on my Instagram. A lot of people seem to like it. If you want to follow me there and see more footage like this, I'm at Javier Mercedes X. Hopefully this video was helpful if you wanted to get a general idea of the new media replacement feature inside Premiere Pro. And if so, don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.